This is a natural gas leak detection solution. It's a vehicle-based analyzer that you can drive around and it measures, quantifies, and maps natural gas leaks in real time. It records that data, puts it on Google Earth Maps, and sends that data to the cloud. It also determines the likely locations of the origin of those leaks while you drive. So the technology is based on a patented technology called off-axis ICOS. It's a very long path length, laser-based absorption spectroscopy system that measures methane and ethane simultaneously. It allows you to make measurements and find leaks at highway speeds. In the past, you'd had to walk the line, literally, with a very low sensitivity device, 2,000 times less sensitive than what we offer. So this allows us to make measurements literally whatever speed is safe. So it saves the operator a lot of time, allows you to cover a lot more ground, so therefore you can finish your job a lot faster. So this slide contains the uh, pointers for all of the, the components of the analysis that we go through for this. So the first of the, the primary components is the sort of raw data itself, it's the survey route. So this is where you've driven, and on that route we've also color-coded the methane concentration. So you can see that there are some places in this route where the, the uh, methane concentration is higher, and we color-code that as red. We also give you an idea of what the survey area is. So in this case, that's, this is essentially the area that's upwind of where you've driven. Um, and that's the only places or the place where we believe that you could have seen the gas from. The actual leak indication, so when we find an increase in the methane concentration, we put down a leak indication, so the terminology that we use for that. Um, and the leak indications end up being cones. So they're cones of probability, meaning that uh, this is the angle within which we believe the wind to have come from, so the source should be in that area and also there's an estimate of distance involved in that. So this is how far away we believe the leak to be. At least two types, there's actually three types of leak indications as well. Um, if the uh, concentration is high enough, we can actually determine whether or not it's pipeline gas versus another source. So um, there are a lot of other sources of methane in the world, um, things like uh, sewers, landfills, uh, and cows, they're the big ones. And uh, those sources do not have ethane in the, in the stream. And so we can actually indicate whether or not it's a natural gas line or something else by looking at the ethane concentration. And then there's an interstitial region, so if we don't actually have enough ethane to make the distinguishment, we color code it yellow.